What's good, BitRushers? My name's Kyler, and this is BitRush Crypto. Today's video is going to be a part two of three on unstoppable domains. We're going to be going over how to claim your domain once you've purchased it on the Ethereum network and how to set up that domain to forward to all of your crypto accounts. And we're going to show you a sample transaction sending a little bit of crypto to our new .crypto domain. In part three, we're going to cover setting up a website or blog, and you can look for that one in the future. If you haven't seen part one, just an overview of Unstoppable Domains and the NFT uh, domains.crypto domains, go ahead and pause this video, and you can find the other video linked in the description below and should be uh, popping up in the upper right-hand corner now. Everyone who's new around here, go ahead and sub to the channel and click the bell to be notified on all future videos to get access to all my content as soon as it drops. If you want early access, you can pay 99 cents a month and get early access to my members only features, which does include early videos and some extra emojis and some discounted merch and a whole bunch of good stuff. We're adding more stuff all the time. So um, yeah, go ahead and sub to the channel, like this video, and let's get into today's content. All right, coming over to Unstoppable Domains, we're going to go up to the top right hand corner and we're going to do My Domains. From here we can view all of the domains we've purchased and the ones that we've claimed. We can see I've only claimed one right here and DeFiBrains.Crypto, we do have the ability to manage that which we'll get into in just a sec. First I want to show you again the process of claiming a domain. So let's go ahead and claim one of these domains. Let's just pick um, one that we can put up for sale here, like redninja.crypto. That one looks good. So let's go ahead and buy a claim credit. So you can buy a claim credit or claim with crypto. I claimed with crypto in the last one, so you guys can watch that if you want to learn how to just claim it yourself on the blockchain. It is a little bit faster. However, it um, does cost a little bit more as the transaction fees at the time of that video were about $60, and this credit only costs $40. So you're going to save $40 on that. Um, we can check out. And here you can still pay with crypto. So this is the other thing. If you want, you do have the option to pay with crypto. You don't have to pay with a card or, you know, PayPal or anything like that. Um, you're just not paying with the Ethereum network. So using their credits and their crypto, they most likely bought a lot of Ethereum for this um, back when the price was cheaper, about $40. So you're now saving $20. So we're going to just do pay with crypto again um, and start the transaction. It's really simple and easy. It gives you... Um, you know, several different coins to choose from. We're going to choose Ethereum, gives us our address and our amount. So we go ahead and copy that. And coming over to MetaMask, what we want to do is choosing the hamburger three dot menu. We're going to click on that and then click expanded view. This opens your MetaMask into a separate browser tab. So you can copy and paste easily. From here, we're going to click send, and we're going to just paste that address we copied previously. Now, this is the important part. This is where we need to be able to leave it and come back. Normally, if you had a transaction going in your MetaMask wallet and we switched tabs, it would reset. So that's why we switched that over to its own tab. Coming here, we're going to copy the exact amount and paste that in. There we go. We can see that amount is perfect. And let's choose a fast transaction just to get it done here. Um, review everything it's going to be $44 so you do have to pay a gas fee which is only $4 here however if you were doing it um, you know using straight Ethereum it would be the full transaction plus the gas fee and that's why it's a little bit more so here we go confirm and that's everything if we want you know we can come here and view that up on Etherscan uh, view that transaction looks like it's going to take a couple minutes here um, we'll see in just a second. Ooh, fast, nice. All right, so now that that's gone through, we just have to wait for several transactions, and we can see it on our end here on Unstoppable Domains. All right, so it has completed, and we can see here, if you want, they will mail a receipt to your email address there, guys. That's my other account, so feel free to spam me if you want. I don't check that email account. Um, but that's basically it. If you guys want to um, you know, get a $10 credit here for your friends, you can refer them and get that. So now we can come back over and check out our domain. So again, back to my domains. And we're just going to click send code by email. 
and then it's going to send a code to our email so I'll get that code and paste it in okay so let's just paste that code back in from our email and we're good to go so choosing wallet for claiming what we want to do is a web 3 wallet because I'm going to claim it and manage it through MetaMask however if you guys were using either Coinbase or maybe a trust wallet might do uh, connect or I believe even Wallet Connect would be for a ledger. And then I'm not sure what MeWallet is, but you do have an option for that one also. So I'm just gonna click here, Web3. It says this action is irreversible. Is this my correct domain? Let me just make sure that's the right account. I believe that's the right one. Yes, we wanna be here, right? Yeah, okay. I understand, so make sure this is the one. I don't know where they got that from. I believe I had previously used that to, to claim um, my other my other domain here, so maybe you put it in the first time, I can't remember. Um, yeah, just claim that. And view domains, claim process started. Okay, so I think that's everything you need to do to get that going. Uh, let's see, so it's pending claim. It it takes a little time, guys. I have um, heard it's about 24 to 48 hours to get that claim because basically they're waiting for the Ethereum network to have cheap fees and then they um, pop it in when there's cheaper fees. So um, that's what you're waiting on that. Again, if you want to do it faster, you can do it like we did in the last video where we just paid the Ethereum network fees and paid an extra $20. It was about $62 total and you get a little bit faster. Even then it takes a couple hours um, for everything to go through. So once that does complete, you'll then see an option here next to your domain to manage. So we can click that, just manage. And it's going to open up a bunch of options here. You see crypto um, information, so you can enter that. We have website, and this is where we can do the website options. We're not going to cover that in today's video. Uh, we have contacts if you want to put in any sort of email address to go along with this and then transfer we're not transferring it so we're not going to be doing that um, sell domain again if you wanted to put it up on OpenSea, you could just check this and sell it and we have chat this is a decentralized um, chat app it's very simpler to like a discord i'm not going to be going through it in today's video but i may do a, another video if you guys request that it's not super popular right now as you know not a whole lot of people have these domains this area um you know of crypto is just starting out but i do imagine that more and more people will start to get on this so maybe as it grows a little bit we'll start up a bit rush crypto chat channel in the future if you guys are interested in that let me know um but then you know we can come here and verify and basically what this is is if you want to verify your domain with twitter um to make sure that this is the real one you can do that and so it will you know show your tweets or whatever as verified uh, so coming back over to the crypto, this is what we're going to cover in today's video. Again, a future video, I'll probably show you the website and maybe possibly one on the chat. But it's actually really super simple. You're listed with an option of a cryptocurrency and then it asks for an address. So that's all. It's super simple, guys. And there's more currencies you can add. So if you don't see one you want, we have Cardano, um, Atom, Bat, BNB, so all kinds of addresses here, guys, that you guys can link up and use for your account. If you see some you like, Tron, right, 0x, so just a ton of them, guys. Uh, basically, you know, a lot of the popular ones, and they'll probably continue to keep adding them as we go. For today's video, just to keep it nice and simple and easy, I am going to paste in an Ethereum address. And since I am on the opposite side, or I'm covering this stuff, I'm just going to move myself over to the opposite side right here so you guys can see. So coming back to our MetaMask, we're going to choose the account we want, and we're going to just copy that address. So uh, MetaMask Wallet, copy our account, and paste. Super, super simple. Um, really couldn't be easier, guys. That's it and go through and do it for every single one. So your Litecoin address, your Ripple address, your Zill address, your Bitcoin address. I'm not gonna do them all for today's video because it's the exact same process and it'll just get kind of tedious showing you guys the same copy and pasting um, different addresses in. But do make sure, the one important thing is to make sure you have the right 
currency in the right box. So if it's a Bitcoin address, or if it's Bitcoin, make sure it's a Bitcoin address. If it's Ethereum, make sure it's an Ethereum address. If it's Ripple, make sure it's a Ripple address, etc. Guys, every single one, you need to make sure that you have the correct address in the correct coin. And when you're done, we're just gonna save. So um, coming to the bottom here, save all strings. And we're gonna use Web3 Connect. Because this is an Ethereum network, we do need to sign the transaction. So we'll open up your MetaMask wallet with a little pop-up and just sign that transaction confirming you have made those changes. And again, another transaction um, that needs to be signed on MetaMask, of course, not just one, it has to be two or three. And it looks like we're good. I think that saved. Okay, so I wasn't sure what was going on, why it didn't um, refresh, but it says pending changes. You can't make any changes right now while your records are updating. You can view the transaction. And the reason why it's kind of paused right now is just says Ethereum gas prices are currently too high and dot crypto transactions could take up to 72 hours to process. You need to process them faster. Um, you can set your own gas fee here. And so it is um, free to do it if you just want to wait up to 72 hours. All right, guys, so I did have to wait at just about the full 72 hours for that transaction to process on the blockchain, but it is now complete. And coming back to the website, if we click on the DeFiBrains.crypto domain, we can see we do have that address now here under Ethereum. And if we click on this button right here to the left with the four little squares, it does give us just a little bit more information about our .crypto domain, and we can see the check mark next to our Ethereum address. That does mean it is verified. I do recommend to send yourself a small transaction before giving the address out to other people or using it for other reasons, and we're going to go ahead and do a test transaction right now. I'm going to send myself a little bit of ETH on my mobile device, and so I'm going to show you guys that now. All right, so when you're typing in your address on Trust Wallet, you can see that it does have a little check mark to verify that it is a working address. I tried to do it several times before the process was complete, and it did have a little like error um, explanation point message. So uh, keep that in mind that if you guys are trying to send it for the first time, it should have a check mark. So verify that check mark is there before sending your ETH. Now that we've sent it, we can check our wallet. And we can see we received that transaction here. So it did work perfectly. And we now have the correct amount of cryptocurrency in our wallet sent through our DeFiBrains.crypto address. That's everything for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy it and learn something along the way. It was a much requested video. If you did enjoy it, please do smash the thumbs up. Share it with a friend or family member, anyone you think may enjoy this content, maybe your social media. As always, guys, happy crypto. Let's get that coin. Oh, yeah, don't forget the sub.